Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Dasocast.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is April 17 and the chart of the day for today is the Nikkei, the Japanese index, 60 minutes time frame. Alright, so uh, over here we can see the index is doing EWXY, which is a double zigzag structure. You got the ABC, the first zigzag, and then the second zigzag here, EBC looking to complete in this blue box area here and then from here potentially the index uh, will end Y and also with 4 in the higher degree and then starts to rally higher again or at least to rally in 3 waves alright so we're going to explain a, a couple of information about the Nikkei as well as some potential uh, option or path for us alright so first of all uh, if I upgrade to the 4 hour time frame and I'm focusing on this move down the WXY ending with 4 right so here is the 4 hour all I'm doing now is just copying the main structure uh, of this decline here here in the 4 hour all I'm doing again is to copy the main structure this is the WX right so again you can compare to the 1 hour time frame look at the position of the WX this move up here corresponds to this and then this ABC over here corresponds to this ABC which will ending Y of 4 uh, right this ABC ending Y of 4 and then this ABC here corresponds to this ABC so all I'm doing is just copying it into the 4 hour time frame to get a better idea of where we are in the higher time frame so when you see something like this then even though you don't see all the count uh, we do have all the count in our site but even if you don't you can see okay if this is ending with 4 WXY then that means this is your 3 right that's pretty uh, pretty uh, obvious right now so with this structure here you can see we got this blue box here which is basically the 100% extension of the WX right that's how we should be ending if this is a corrective structure then we should be ending somewhere here which is the same blue box as you can see in the one hour over here all right now let's discuss um, possible option first well the other possible option here is that instead of the WXY double zigzag I can also call this as a one two three four five Now, if I'm calling it this way, the difference is that um, the difference is that what we call the connector, right? Previously, you measure the extension using the WX, but now if I'm calling it this way, then that means we have to redo it again. The connector is going to be using this AB now, and then the 100% extension is going to be different. This is the area now. So you have this. As the WXY versus this in this ABC this is diagonal then right ABC and looking for a um, hundred percent extension which is lower the zone is going to be lower now this is absolutely very very possible as well it's just another option that you have to be aware of um, in this structure here so it's either we are looking for this to rally soon using this structure or we are looking for this possible alternate path now uh, the the other thing that I want to talk about is we zoom out into even a bigger time frame if I take a look at the weekly and I'm focusing on again three and the four now so this is the three and the four in the weekly time frame right now you can see this is 2020 COVID-19 low we got this connector here which now reached the hundred percent now because it is at the all-time high I don't have any um, suggestion that this is an ABC there's no way we make an all-time high in a corrective structure right so this has to be an impulse this has to be one two right this has to be one two, but not the one two the, the degree is this this three four here and the one two should be this one right so we are talking about in nest here within this rally 
Now let's say this is the primary one too, right? The primary, like the bigger degree one too. We're still within this leg width three, which honestly it doesn't look complete to me. If you look at this rally here, now this one it looks to me like some sort of a nest uh, going on here, and it doesn't. Regardless, whatever it is, it honestly it doesn't look complete the structure, and therefore it remains to be a pie in the tips, right? So the higher time frame in terms of what should be in the right side, I don't think there is any, um, at least for now, I don't think there is any question what the right side is, which is higher. Now, yes, there, there would be options in terms of the pullback, like I mentioned before, WX or ABC, the, the, the support zone is going to change, but it really doesn't change what is the right side. Uh, it's not talking about, oh, this is starting to get bearish or anything like that. It's just a matter of, we need to figure out uh, what will be the right zone for the support uh, for this index, right? And this is uh, what we are showing, and this is the alternate that we are um, giving, right? Now, the other thing here is that I want to show is that if we are in the wave four, and this is the one and two, remember if you use retracement principle, we should be somewhere between at least 23.638.2 right usually this is the area for wave 4 and usually it shouldn't go below 50% usually now we hit the 23.6% already that means technically we are not too shallow to be wave 4 that's what I'm trying to show you we are not too shallow to end wave 4 so even if we end it right now because we could and I can, I can move it and call it completed if I want to it is already not too shallow to finish this way for so a lot of people want to cling to all this little one minute swing or so thinking that you know if you if uh, the chart is wrong in this one minute swing then we are wrong right and which is insane because nobody can predict with one minute accuracy every single swing right so we're giving you the area of support here now even though we are calling it lower doesn't mean it has to go lower because we are already hitting the area of support right i can of course i can move it here if i want to fin call it completed but there is no sign that it is complete so i mean it's too early for me to call it complete because the thing is a lot of inexperienced people when when they see something like that they think it's a solid thing that this is ending and they, they will try to long like with heavy leverage against this low which is again something that we never understand why would um, people do something like that right but um, yeah overall the idea here is that if this is the right connector then it shouldn't go below 37582 but the other option if this is the connector then we can actually extend lower into this area now how would you position yourself it, it's kind of tough right it's kind of tough I mean I think if you want to be a bit more safe then I would say this 1.618 here is going to be the one that is more important than the 1.618 here because this one is based on this but it could be based on this as well like I show you over here which has a lower 1.618 so only can, time can tell which um, which one is going to play out right now worst case scenario then this can be doing like a 1, 2 and then 3, 4, 5 like this that's the worst case which is not our primary view right it's not our prime. now if that's the case then we could go back and maybe we can start to do a bigger pullback like this the size of this pullback right here already if that's the case but that's for now it's not our primary view okay so that is the idea guys i hope everybody understands uh, that uh, that everything needs to be taken into consideration uh, especially if you like to trade uh, if you want to trade it and you have to understand all this thing here and the alternates and the bigger picture uh, before you make a decision okay so if you want to get more updates please feel free to check our service we have 14 days trial the link is in the description of the video so see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone